reason I was thinking about going to Walmart was to kind of look at that. They have, a, well, they used to have like a $100 road bike. It was yellow and red. I've only seen a couple of them in the streets. But, you know, I should probably should have got it at the time, but then I would have had to be moving it around and storing it and shit like that. But, so I was gonna look at it here. But, and then I decided, okay, well, I'm gonna walk in through the garden section. And then I just thought, you know what, I'm going Home Depot because they have a better garden section and it's prettier and it's better than Walmart. So I had to find a way to that traffic and stuff. So here's the garden area. Oh, here's a couple kayaks, speaking of kayaks earlier. Now that I've had some time to think of what they were called, Odyssey, I think it was Odyssey. Now, Odyssey might be the name of the, I don't know if it's the make or the model. There's a Mercury Cougar, but I'm getting my space in line over here. Because this time I'm in front. So it looks like I'm not going inside Walmart. I'm gonna take this little sidewalk. Oh, hello. And, I don't know. There's a, another one of those. I passed one of those earlier. I don't think I was recording. There's a woman in it. She glanced at me and then went back to her. Look like she's looking at her vagina. I like this little nautical house over here. Uh, that the one? Yeah, right there. Ah. That's how I fell off the grass. And I didn't notice it was happening. But, there was no, like, bitch legs. I think here's the big ledge up here. I'm gonna flip the phone. Sorry, flip the camera and you'll see, you can see where I was. Huh. I bet that would have been convenient to have that as a, an, an entrance. But this is the place I remember that had a gate. So they closed off that end and that would have only had to put one gate in. This makes sense. There's a crazy ass covering. I get the feeling of motorcycles in there, but. I mean, I have, uh, yeah, that's just better. I wonder what the hell that is. Huh. The gate opening to this side is closed. Last time I came here, the main gate was open. I can see that now, too. But that's open. And this area is open. I guess you could say we almost have, like, some kind of fall season because, look at, those things aren't green anymore. If you look over here, everything's green. <laughs> Today is, I think, like November 27. I was gonna go straight across, but then I saw this K light coming, so I'm just going around them. I was over here before. This is when this car parked next to me. And I did not want to be his friend. I think these are cool little dreadlock plants. There's a couple of big rocks. I think big rocks are cool. I'd like to have some in my yard. A lot of the lizards and things like them. Oh yeah, I just remember that piece of wood that I saw on the way up here, but I saw some others later and it looked like, well, they were certainly nailed down with branches. So, that makes me think that the other one I saw may be screwed down as well. This is a cool Chrysler. Those minivans are cool. And I admit that magazines are the one who told me they were cool first. Wait, the video tilted this? Sucks. Magazine said, yo, this Chrysler is cool. And then I, because I never would have seen it otherwise, except on the road. And I'm like, yo, this thing is bad. I think, are they like the creator of the minivan that kind of sort of credited with it? The Chrysler, like, town of country or something? There's an area of Tampa that's called town and country. And it's, I mean, it's, it's not at all. It's right next to the airport and like three major thoroughfares. So, yo, there's that blood clot Bronco. That's the third time this nigga saw that Bronco. What in the hell? <laughs> and I know right where he lives at. So when it comes down for me to want to buy one, you know, if that ever happens, I know where one is. And when I was at school in St. Pete, I could probably still find that street. But there used to be a white convertible 
S13, okay? <laughs> and I knew some old lady drove, drove it, you know, because it was just some old thing. Huh. There's a sidewalk. Okay, I'm going to take the sidewalk all the way down to the other end side of the building. Because unlike the last one, when I had to get on a walk, this looks like it makes it all the way. <laughs> There's a couple of mats out here drying. There might be another rent trap deal. So this girl, this, you know, there was this convertible F-13. I mean, how sick is that? There's a man in a truck over there. I mean, people are used to not being seen. You know how many people I'm see sitting in their cars? And I've never seen this before. It seriously happened. I don't know. But I never even started looking at parking lots until I was at Goodwill. Look, there's a nice path through there. I knew there, were, there, were, there would be ways to get back on the sidewalk if I went this way. People sit in their cars all the time. I don't sit in my car, and I definitely don't sit in the car where they're running. I've been, like, messed up at work, and then went into my car in the parking garage and napped for 30 minutes. I did that shit. I'm going through this bush. Every time I do so, I got a ride with one hand, you know what I mean? I went down a couple cool, like, off-road... Well, I think I recorded for the one of them, at least. The little hills over there in Missouri, and did it with one hand. And then I rode back up it. I didn't record that one. See, that sign only applies to the driveways. Not the way I came. I came by bush. Convertible S13, dog. And when you buy it from a, a little old lady, you can give her $1,100 and she'll say, okay, here you go, sonny. I don't know why, but they do it. I just saw a man over there walking. When I was sitting up in them bushes, nobody ever looked. It is a nice footpath. Nobody ever looked. I was never ever seen. But see, I just happened to look over there right before I went past. The last chance to look, and I saw that motherfucker. All right, there's Rose running out. So that guy happened to be turning right there, right where I needed to be. I went to this convenience store one time with somebody. The only time I ever been there, they went in and they bought condoms, and I was gonna use them. So that's something personal for you, right? <laughs> I went to preschool around here somewhere. I forgot what it was called. I think my mom knows, and I probably know too. I can't remember. Can't recall. There's a person in pink over here. I got my first kids ever in preschool. This girl, Veronica Adams, took me. There was a, an elevated pillow loft where people were supposed to read books. She took me in there, put my face under the phone. Or under the pillow. Hello. She's not really on the phone, that girl. I saw her pick her phone up just as I walked by. Or like, right when she saw me. Bitch, I'm not trying to holler at you. What the fuck? But I guess people on the sidewalk do. Uh, I can't cross it. There's no blood class sidewalk over here. What kind of bullshit is it? I'm gonna ride the damn road. This is so fucked up. Up and down hill. No sidewalk. There's a sidewalk up there. Looks like I'll make it. There's a car behind me, but I think I'll get here first. I don't really hear I'm coming too hard and I'm starting to pedal harder. That's a taxi. She's way back there. <laughs> it's fun recording these. <laughs> Just riding around, looking at the city, but like with fresh eyes. Because you may think you know where you live, but you only know where you've been. You know, I know Ebor, I know downtown St. Petersburg, I know the beach. I've been on this road before, on a bicycle, I think. 
been out in years. And this ain't, I mean, these curves are harsh. It ain't even cartography. I just called it mapping. What if I come up with a better thing? It, it's fun to you. Well, it's it's persuasive to use words and things that you're already familiar with, but I'm putting a different meaning on it. You know what I mean? So, like, what you think mapping is, it probably involves paper. But I'm calling this mapping. You know, this is a digital live stream of a certain geospatial moment. You understand? Because I'm right here, right now. You're watching this right now, but it's a different now to this recording's now. And chances are the geo coordinates is also different. Like there's a lot here I could do a quick drift in or something. I don't know where I want to go yet. This one was taking way too blood clot long. I don't got time for all this. There's no reason to ever fucking sit anywhere. Are you crazy? You know, good. I wanted to show you this van. That, that truck right behind me there was parked, um, kind of. I don't remember if it, oh fuck, if I was a little bit faster, this would have worked. I'm gonna get some more momentum, but when I do, shoot across it. There's a Roku TV on the ground over there. But that's like a 32 inch, that's stupid. You need to buy the biggest non-smart TV you can find, and then use a Google Chromecast or a Roku stick. All you have to do. I think it's a man, but I thought it was a woman until just now. You need to get your, get your life. I'm gonna end this video too, because it's probably in the upper lengths later, folks.